Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for Aging and Style with American Retirement Advisors. Joining us now is President and Owner Joe Vitale. Thank you so much for calling in. How are you, Joe? Doing good. Good morning, Claude. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. Grab a pen and paper. Joe has a lot of information for us today. So, Joe, you're always here giving us that important information on retirement. But if you at home want to hear more from Joe, I know you do. Be sure to grab your phones and scan the QR code right there on your screen to subscribe to his newsletter. It's called Financial Vitals, where you can stay tuned in to the very latest financial news and market updates. Now on to today's topic, inflation. Oh my goodness. And the Fed's rate increase. So Joe, the Fed's half point increase is the largest bump in more than two decades. That increase is a response to our current bout of inflation. So what does that mean, Joe, for credit card users? Well, I mean, this is something that uh, it, it hurts a little, right? Yes. And it's almost like they should have been uh, raising rates last last year to kind of curb the mm. inflation. And we've seen inflation its way through the roof. Uh, but right now, what, what that means is, you know, credit cards, when you get in the credit card debt cycle and you're at 15, 20, 25 percent, I mean, there's a maximum they can raise the rates. But the problem that we're finding is, mm. Is it's hard to get out of that hamster wheel when you get in that credit card hamster wheel because you pay the minimum, the minimum, the minimum. You're not getting out of it. No. So you definitely want to look at the uh, the debt snowball that we do, like a Dave Ramsey Smart Vester. Start trying to get rid of those credit cards as much as possible. You're not going to see a lot of it, zero interest as much, um, but you know, try to get rid of those credit cards, free up those as much as possible. Try to make sure you have your three to six month emergency cash on hand at all times because. We're starting to see the spending, you know, the, 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 all this free money that's been going on for a long time is pulling back now. Um, you're also seeing things with inflation get more money, you, more expensive. You definitely need to have that emergency cash on hand yes. and uh, make sure you're, you're going as lean as possible without a lot of debt. That's a great tip. Get out of that credit card debt. Don't use them if you don't have to, that's for sure. So, Joe, what about for home buyers and homeowners? Well, we've seen unbelievable um, market in the last few years with 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 housing, yes. with you know very low mortgage rates of two to two to three percent, where people could afford a three, four, five hundred thousand dollar house for the same they were paying for before, yeah. and you're not seeing that anymore. You know, people who are refinancing or moving to get a bigger house and paying. 10 and 20 and 30 percent over asking price because the cost of money was so low you don't see that anymore now people are saying oh my goodness i'm not going to refinance because it's at a much higher rate i'm not going to move um so you're going to see a lot more people say you know that which is why we have an inventory problem there's very little inventory on the market right now um so you're not going to see people moving as much you're not going to see people refinancing as much you're going to have to stay put but even still, we have to remember, 5 and 6% interest rates on a mortgage is still pretty low in the grand scheme of things, but nothing like we've seen in the last few years. So it's definitely going to change the real estate market. It sure is. Wow. So, Joe, I love this because you always talk about making money work for you. Perfect. I love to hear that. So do you recommend that people who utilize savings accounts for retirement actually invest at this point? You know, I love having three to six months. We always talk yes. about a good emergency fund. Mm -hmm cash on hand. I love having cash on hand and savings accounts and checking accounts just to make sure that, you know, we don't get caught if, if we're out of, um, if we have an emergency expense, we don't have enough cash on hand. We never want to go run to credit cards. Um, but I, I, I still like having investments. We still look for safe investments. Uh, we can still get four, four and a half percent guaranteed. I know investment advisor cannot talk about guarantees out there in the market. But there are safe alternatives that have a 4%, 4.5% guarantee. So call us. We'd love to share that with you. Um, you don't have to leave it in the bank paying nothing um, when you can actually not keep up with an 8% inflation but still get 4 4 4.5% rate of return, which is a great rate of return without any risk and still have money safe for, for your emergency and still be able to invest. It's all about proper allocation, which we talk about all the time. Yeah, call Joe, get some more information on that, that's for sure. So please explain, Joe, why borrowing becomes more expensive when the Fed actually increases the rate like we're seeing right now. Yeah, you're saying it's gonna get more expensive. You, you People would just run and say, oh, I, I'm just gonna go put more in the, um, I'm gonna refinance my house, I'm gonna mm -hmm. put more in, in, and it's just cheap, cheap, cheap money. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. The Fed raising the rates, what's happening now is, is they have to curb inflation. They should have done it. We talked about they should have done this more last year. 
um, to try to get ahead of it. But at this point now, it's like, oh, we have to, we ha- we can't go into a recession. Well, we're kind of already there. You're starting to see the softening. Whenever you see the softening, um, that's going to happen. The difference is right now, you are seeing that um, there's still a lot of jobs out there, which is great, right? Yes. People are still hiring like crazy because right. the job market never came back. There's still a lot of people who, who haven't entered back in the market. So they say, oh, with a the recession, there's very there's no jobs. You know, we're, we're, we're on the brink right right now, and I think um, borrowing is more expensive because the interest rates are going up. Uh, and that's what we talk about. Don't run to borrow as much as mm. possible. You know, you're starting to see people just try to, you know, in order to get through this, yeah. we it, the spending has to come down, mm. but people are still going to be consuming. So consuming, we're still going to see profits. We're still going to see money into the economy, but we just have to pull back a little bit with, with the interest rates the way they are. Great tips. You're getting us on the right track today, Joe, that's for sure. So. Do you recommend, let's talk about stocks a little bit, do you recommend selling off stocks and transitioning to more defensive strategy right now? Uh, I I love defensive strategies. However, I'm not a proponent when the market's down 20 to 30 percent and you're already down 20 to 30 percent in your portfolio or 10 percent depending how defensive you are. Not a big fan of selling off and and putting it into cash because you'll never make it back at this point. Uh, But I do love the defensive stock positions where we can get good dividend paying stocks. Maybe we're down 15 to 20 percent in some of these portfolios. But because we have those reoccurring dividends, that's going to help get us back up quicker. That's also going to provide three to four percent income where if we need income in retirement, we don't have to sell a stock. We just live off the dividend yield Mm. and that money will come back. Remember, the economic cycle is every eight to 10 years. We're going to have growth and prosperity. Then we're going to have a lull, a recession, a mild one, because we can't always go up, 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 up. But we've had 14 years almost of positive growth, a bull run. We have to have this dip um, to get back up there. But in order to make it through that, we definitely don't want to sell stocks. We will get back up there. Again, look at defensive positions for some of the money with a guaranteed 3 4 5% rate of return or 3 4.5% rate of return. Look at defensive positions with stocks that are good dividend payers and don't make knee-jerk reactions and, and panic right now. We just have to be properly allocated. Great advice. Joe, any last-minute advice or message out there to friends that you want to wrap this all up in a nice bow for us? Yeah, we, we've seen a lot of this before. We've been through this before. We can make it through this. Yeah. Proper allocation, emergency funds, give us a call. If you're kind of concerned that, oh, my goodness, I don't think I'm in the right position, we'd love to sit down with you and help you get through this and show you that uh, this too shall pass. But uh, right now it's, it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of ugly the way it looks right now. This too shall pass. Joe, thank you so much for giving us peace of mind today. Make sure you call Joe. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate you. Thank you, Colette. Take care. Good of to see you. Of course, you as well. Thank you, Joe. For the latest financial news and market updates, be sure you subscribe to Joe's newsletter. It's called Financial Vitals. And if you want more information about today's topic, just head on over to the Aging and Style page at WNEM.com.